Yo, what's going on? Coming in hot with this one. I wanted to talk about the Air Streamer by Endorphins. It's an envelope generator, but it's got some really cool functions that a lot of others don't. Um, one of them being this uh, exponential to logarithmic control over the slopes. And right now I'm just controlling the vol. But what's cool about this is it's actually not stretching the envelope cycle, it's still keeping it in time. And you can tell because I got a uh, cycled envelope here, so watch. It doesn't affect it, which is awesome, especially if you got a single thing here and you dial it in right. It still keeps it. Man, I love that cycling. You have your regular uh, attack decay mode, and then you have an ASR, attack sustain release, depending on how long your gate is that you got coming into it, and then your cycle. You also got zero to five volts, as well as minus five to positive five volts. My personal favorite. End of stages. This is really cool. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and patch this right now. So right now I have it on, on the back of the module. You have little jumpers to switch it from end of attack or end of cycle. And what this is essentially going to act as, I have mine set to end of cycle. It's going to act like a um, another trigger, almost exactly the same as the trigger is coming in. So I'll just use that to clock this. Ooh, now let's take, oh, now I'm getting ideas. Let's take this and send it over to uh, our filter. You know, speaking of the jacks on here also, so the end of stages is right next to this, which took me a second to figure out what it actually was doing until I plugged it in. So it's the VCA CV in. This is pretty cool. I haven't seen many envelope generators with this. And what this is, is controlling how much the VCA is actually coming out. It's not a, t it's in a sense almost attenuating. So watch this. You can hear that it gets to a point where it's really quiet and then just basically fully open envelope. And that's also dependent on the shape. So it's basically opening or closing how much the shape can actually go to its destination. And in this case, it's what we're hearing. So if I just set this to like, basically VCA mode, I mean a VCO mode. Oh, and then this is of course going hammy on it. Here, watch, check this patch out. All right, I'm gonna take number three out of our memetic and send that to the VCA. We'll go to three and shred it. So you can see that LED right there. That's opening and closing this envelope going to its destination. So if again, we go and put this into what we had. This is really dope because you can start using this as basically a side chain. So when voltage is high, it's gonna push this VCA down, closing the envelope. Even if I have this really loud. Here, it pulls it out. Dope. Oh man, Godspeed sounds so good. If you're curious about the Godspeed, actually, check this video out. Um, it's basically another deep dive into just this module by itself. All right, so check this. We're gonna take this Oct, and I'm gonna send some of its levels over into the Airstreamer. By default, the CV inputs for this, this is controlling the shape amount, but if you send CV to it, this is gonna act as an attenuator and, or I guess a tenuverter, is it? Yeah, I guess you can call it an attenuverter towards the slopes, basically how long they are. So if we say, send this guy here, and we'll set this back to cycle. <laughs> and same with this here this is um the slope for the attack whether you want it to be exponential or logarithmic and then this will then now control its 
basically uh, attack time. Man, you could patch the crap out of this thing. And that's without the VCA input. So having the VCA on here is really dope. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and try this. This has been something I was trying earlier. So I just unplugged our VCO. I'm gonna go positive five, negative five, set it to cycle. <laughs> so now I'm using the envelope generator as an oscillator. Oh, and this is of course doing a reset. All right, so there we go. What's cool here, let me go ahead and set this to a normal filter mode. All right, so this is our voice now, our oscillator. These knobs will start to shape the voice. What's even crazier about this is another thing I've never seen on an envelope. It has a volt per octave. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let's open this up and we'll go to negative five, positive five. Listen to this wave shape. This is again an envelope. And another reason that's actually really cool about this is, let me turn the kick off. So this actually sounds really cool because it's sample, it, they're digital. All the six HP modules by endorphins are digital. But what's dope is that they're using a really, really high sample rate. So you don't actually hear any aliasing. Of course you get this down into LFO range. Let's go ahead and set this uh, memetic back in here. And again, we can utilize this VCA in, since it's a voice now, as whatever we need it to be. You can see that the aux now is controlling its volume, or if we send three. Bring back that kick. <laughs> oh yeah. Yo, an envelope generator. Anyway, that's the air streamer. I just kind of wanted to cover it a little more because I found it pretty unique in terms of what it could do. I've been using it more as a VCO than I have been um, anything else. I mean, it's a good envelope generator and it has the sustain, which is nice, but I mean, the, listen to this. I'll send some more stuff from the Oct to it. Whoa. Bring it back. <laughs> Let's go fast. I try to end the video and I just keep on going. That's the Airstreamer by Endorphins. And 
And uh, yeah, you know, you know the drill. I'll catch you next week. Share the love, share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace.